Hey everyone, my name's Silver, welcome back to the channel, and today guys, well, you already had a video today, but you're giving another, cause it is time for the second to last episode of Card Fight Vanguard G. And boy oh boy guys, did we have an episode this week. Um, I got quite a few screenshots to go over, and I will should have an update video in the next couple of days about how the new TV series, or YouTube series, will go of how I'm going to, um record card fight vanguard uh v error or whatever it's called besides the point moving along into this episode so guys we got the start off point with all five zeroth dragons just coming into play so this week's episode was sort of a climactic letdown we'll, we'll go over it as we go so yeah we start off with seeing giza and all the zeroth dragons and, and building up to the hype of this episode of a fight, um, we get a ghost over of everyone fighting, working their little butts off, and stating how that um, the, the slime monsters just keep on coming. They haven't stopped yet. And Ibuki is just not giving up. He's continuing forward strong. He's playing his cards and just letting them go so that he so that Chrono and the gang can continuously defend. And we get screenshots from all over the world of people just playing. And then we just skip back over to Chrono and the gang, just giving them their final hurrah speech. And, well, not exactly Chrono, but Chrono Dran giving the hurrah speech. And we see a crack in the sky. And then we skip to the opening intro, yada, yada, yada. We play the theme song. And then we skip back to um, Alt Mile and Shion facing Giza and they're just like antagonizing Giza it's just like this isn't even enough I'm greedy I'm arrogant so on he he strides into immortal holy sword Phytus and he just says yep look at me and I'd like to take a moment and just say how amazing I love this card the art and everything it we did not get a new card like I thought we did we would have but we continue forth. He attacks Giza. He twin drives two critical triggers, even though I don't have it here. And he just annihilates Giza. And then Asha, or yeah, Asha and Togohua get smashed up against the wall because they're skilled at that. And she's just like, yep, not even enough to mess up my hair. And she, she ghosts over everyone. Her teammates, Jamie, her best friend, Dark... Dark Zone leader. He's just says, "Yep, I've come this far." And then she, she generation guards with the Mustard here, the Asha love waifu of M Miguel, our boy Miguel. We'll miss him so. But we move along. Her next turn, she strides into Flowers, Flower Princess of the Four Seasons. And she gets shenanigans. And we get over to Chrono, who is guarding with his Gear Chronicles, because that's what Chrono does best. And then he's still having his flash, his inner demon, trying to get him to slip away. And he remembers Kamui. And literally, this part of the episode is probably where it starts getting hype. Because Kamui's, as I always knew it, and he strides into his Victor. Jamie's, as I you now have a whole bunch of friends. Abuki's, you're, yeah, he's guiding the future. It's literally just the whole point of this is all the major influences from season one. Kamui, Ibuki, and Jamie all just are supporting him. Tayo is there, you know, Tayo's being Chrono's little friend. And is just supportive. And he's a it's Chrono Dragon Z skill. Just, yep. I love this picture of Giza. I honestly do. There's nothing I like better here than this picture. Just gives you the full scope of Giza. And how massive he should be. And then we get Chrono Heritage. The new unit. That we've been waiting forever to see since it was announced like two months ago. In the anime. And... We get what we expected from Chrono Jet. He strides into Heritage. 
And he attacks him and then strides into Heritage again. And then he just says, come home, Kazuto. Kazuma, we miss you. And once more, like I stated, he strides once more into Heritage like we thought he would. So he had eight G units face up. And these ones just chilling to be reset. Alt Mile attacks. And obliterates Giza. Like, look at that plume of explosion. Not even finished by a vanguard. Finished by the rear. Uh, our princess here attacks as well. And she gets perfect guarded out. And she uses her rear guards, which you can't see because it flashed. But um, honestly, just a beautiful, beautiful fight. Um, and then, yeah, he just dies. Chrono Heritage comes in with his ultimate attack. And it's just, our new future, you're going to die now. And obliterates Giza, freeing Kazuto. As you see, Chrono grabs Kazuto's hand and says, you're free! I keep saying Kazuto. Is it Kazuto? Kaz Kaz yeah, Kazuto. No, Kazuto is from... Sorry. Kaz Kazum... Yeah, we're just going to stay with Kazumo at this mo moment in time. I'm too tired to think. So yeah, he grabs his hand. And he makes a comment like, you're late. And he says, my bad, B. My B. And, yeah, that's sort of the entire fight right there. We spent literally less than half the episode in this fight. And this massive epic fight that they could have dragged on a little bit longer. Oh, it's over. Okay, now we're going to show you all the things disappearing. There's the uh, Season 4 side gang. There's Seasons 1 through 3 side gang. Just, haha. -ha. Narukami, Kagero, Murakumo. Well, that's about it. That, that that was that fight. Um, his brother's there. He says, oh, there you are. Kazum Kazumui. And Tayo sees him and he says, oh, let's go give him a hug. Because that's the bright thing to do now. Because, well, everyone else showed up to fight. And then everyone's calming down. The relics is disappearing. And then... Danger! 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 Relics is being destroyed. They see that the crack in the reality is getting worse. And then they see this massive black hole of everything that was absorbed by nothingness. That's a whole lot of nothingness. So we get more of the wonderful witch user, which, oh god, please let her be in this upcoming season, please. Bushiro, I beg you, please, oh, please let her be in the season. I will do anything for her to be in Vanguard's V. Oh, God, I love her, and I love her deck so much. Not as much as my girlfriend, but I love her deck. I love her as a character. She's just adorable. She, she eats donuts and places curses on people. She was an adorable character in Season 4, and I am sad they did not utilize her more in this series. Um, we get Chrono and Chrono Dran talking, because, well, we gotta get them talking. Um, so, they're just like, let's go! Time for, time for this true last fight! Dimensional Overstride, where they do this silly thing where they disappear, and then, this is probably the best part, and the only salvageable part of this entire episode, and probably season, is that they just release the generation zone like this and they use the original stride from the very first series of G where they do the whole walking in the dimensional space time you know not this cheap where haha we place a card and our vanguard transforms we're no longer cool so for like the first two or three seasons they did this, and it was just dropped into oblivion as the series continued. And that was the only salvageable thing, I think, from this episode. That's giving it a 7 on my scale today. Yes, it is getting 7, because this is the only salvageable thing. But we get this nice original stride animation. And we get Alt Mile holding, just, you know, giving a crisp high five 
Tokoha and Asha are coming together for once in this beautiful scenery. This is all just beautiful scenery. Chrono Heritage or Chrono Jet Z, the Z line and Chrono are there together. And then, yeah, they are literally their units in space. We have breached from this being a card game with another world slight sci-fi that could have, you know, been more realistic to straight out striding in space. But that happens. So the, we get the reports on screen that there are three high stride forces and Chris is like, oh, it's try three. Well, we're going to sit here and watch them save the day again because that's all these characters do in G or be solo and save and yeah this series went downhill real quick after season one so they're just oh well before messiah's power runs out let's bite this massive black hole in space you know the thing that's causing earth to literally be in danger so they're just fighting it they're destroying meteors and stuff and it's affecting earth negatively oh and yeah by the way they punch a black hole yep that's about it. They just punch a black hole. And their combined power shatters it and returns everything back to normal. Literally, it's, it, like I said, interesting series, not so great. Um, everything's returning. It's a happy wrap up to the story. We get little bad guy villain saying Chrono, so he obviously knows there's much more. And then they say their goodbyes. That, that's sort of the entire arc right there. The planets separate and completely split, so you need a whole space-time thing. The singularity is gone. Everything. Chrono and Dran no longer have a connection to each other. They are done. This is truly the end of G. It was not a rumor. It was not a thing. They've literally severed the connection between planets. So every evil plan that is involved G can no longer be recommitted. No more diff ride, no more dimensional overstride. Which makes me really sad that's not a skill. I was so looking forward to it. I only know I did like one theory video on it, but we didn't have information either. So, darn you, anime, for destroying our hopes and dreams. Um, And then they all give their goodbye faces. Chrono, Dran of Va fades asha gives a little tear drop and then they just start talking about what their goals are tokoha is going to conquer the euro europe league Shion is just going to become this massive billion dollar enterprise with his face all over it and carving his name into fencing history vanguard history essentially if it can be carved into history he's doing it and chronos just says oh well i'm gonna go home and then yeah and that's sort of the end of the entire series. Oh, let's go back to Earth before Messiah's power wears off. Let's dip. So the overall episode for this week wasn't bad. I really enjoyed it to a degree. It is by far probably one of the worst seasons in Vanguard, though. And here's why. And I will be doing a full review on it later ne next week, probably next Sunday or next Monday. Once the final episode's out, because I want to make sure everything's wrapped up nice and tight. But, this had a really crappy story. Everything felt like it was rushed or dragged out or was cut and, cut and dry. You knew basically from the start of the battle to the end who was winning, who was losing. And on top of that, thus far, there has not been a single unique soundtrack besides the opening and ending intro to the series. We, we got no real character development. It was literally just... Oh, we need something to throw out. We're throwing this out. And that was sort of this entire season, which makes me really sad because they could have done a lot of unique stuff. Even this entire fight with Giza was overhyped. Why did they rush it? They had another episode. But let's take a look into the next week's clips. We have, obviously, Romy Labyrinth with What's Her Name? Looks like they're singing a song at an event. That's always good. We got Tayo and Justice Boy here, plus Assassin. Looks like they're going to try and challenge Try 3. They're going to be the next Try 3, I think. And there's this, a puzzle room, I think. But 
the next episode is called Extra Turn or Final Turn. But honestly, I don't know why you rushed it. You could have done this event as half of next week's episode and made the entire Giza fight better. I don't know. I feel like there's it was really rushed. But I don't want to spend too much time talking about this because we're already at 15 minutes. So, until next time, guys. That has been the episode review. As always, the original link to the first episode is down in the description. Last week's episode is down there as well, the review. And guys, we killed it at over 1,500 views. So let's try to smash it this week. And please, please, I am begging you to hit that subscribe button if you are new and you enjoy the content and you want to see more. And smash the like button so I can continue making great content like this in the future. Let me know what you want to see down in the comments below. But I have been the Silver Wolf, and until next time, I'll see you all later. Peace.